Hey guys, here I thought I had the camera rolling and it wasn't. Unfortunately, there's no do overs with this. Um, I just rounded off the corners and to do that I just laid both pieces together flat on the, on the bench and I used a chisel. It's a regular wood chisel that uh, I've gone ahead and sharpened up really, really sharp. Um, it would probably shave hairs if I wanted to shave hairs with a chisel. But it cuts through the leather like butter. Um, and that's all I did was, you know, a couple little cuts with it. And that was all it took. So I'm going to go over to my Dremel. And I'm going to go around and smooth out all the edges and just kind of match everything. So after that point, it will be matched. And this is the way it will go together. So I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, guys, back again. After we've uh, got everything matched, I kind of get this, I like to just call it flash. It's just a little hangover. Uh, but we're going to edge bevel anyway. So, get all my clamps off of here. Put those away so we don't forget where they are or lose them or something. Get rid of my cutting mat as I'm done cutting. And grab the edge beveler. Which I just sharpened. Or stropped I should say. Um, and it doesn't really matter where you start. All the edge beveler is doing is taking just that corner off. And we're only doing the outside, outsides of the holster at this point. One thing that I, I want to say is uh, I've, I've had issues in the past when I was doing holster work that uh, you may want to uh, make sure you trim your fingernails. Um, I've had fingernail marks in some of my projects and I really hate to chuck a project because they have a stupid fingernail mark in it. Sometimes you can get them out in the wet forming process, but that is not the norm. So there we go. We just kind of get that in. Just kind of takes that flash off, cleans up the edge, makes it night rounds it out a little bit. That's it. I'm going to do the other side. And uh, we'll, we'll call this the end of a part, we'll call it prep work, because our next spot is creating our stitch lines and gluing it together, the glue up. So stay safe, God bless, and we'll get with you in the next video.